what's going on so today i'm going to be doing a comparison between the replica um jordan 11 concords and the retail jordan 11 concords if you can't tell the replica is on the left um so from distance these look pretty good obviously the biggest issue is that mine have been uh aged so they're no longer as icy as a pair like this even then when i first got my pair it was maybe a little less blue than this but just about in terms of iciness so that's going to be the biggest giveaway for right now but let's get them both to face in the front and let's get into that so the widow's peak was a flaw that even retail pairs had as you can see it's not that much on mine this is the retail um a little bit more um, noticeable on the reps but that's you can fucking take that off that's not even anything serious um the patent leather looks pretty good it's pretty similar there's nothing too obvious about that what i did notice is a uh, rougher cuts and kind of thinner cuts because over here you can see it looks a lot thicker but on the rep look how thin that is so just look at that right there that's one thing that i noticed um the jumpman jordan looks fine it's the retail it's the rep the toes toe boxes look fine they're not square like in 2013 reps have gotten a lot better um let's take a look at the back so this is one thing i've noticed it looks surprisingly good usually that's the main giveaway is the back but if we just get a side by side right here a tad fatter yeah and the 45 is a little slanted to the right but even on my retail pair my 45 looks like shit and my 23 on my um, breads is a little crooked so retails have their flaws um with that being said this is not too bad at all the back tab looks pretty spot on just for the view of the patent leather they're pretty similar the patent leather comes up to the right point what i've noticed this is an eight and a half and this is a nine and it just feels much taller and the boxes are the same so it's just a tad taller than usual let's do carbon fiber so the carbon fiber looks pretty spot on nothing bad about that this one's a little louder but yeah they've gotten carbon fiber pretty pretty much on point that's not anything concerning just little flaws like that here's the retail here's the replica uh, the padding is also um, a bit harder on the reps than on the Authentics. That's something I've noticed. And one thing that I've also noticed is that this lining seems to come up a tad bit more than it would on the retail pair. You can see how crisp this looks and just straight. And this one is straight, but you know it looks like double the thickness almost. But on feet, that is not going to be a problem. Overall, I mean, shit, they're not bad. Just little, like, things like that that I said. Also, the mesh is a little flat. You can kind of see it. You see how it's flat? And right here, this, it doesn't move. This is me also pushing it, giving it a little bit of weight. And it just doesn't move very much. You can see but it's almost hollow inside over here. But, yeah, I haven't noticed. The Jumpman looks fine. Here's the authentic. Here's the replica. Just his fingers look more out. But even then, his fingers don't look that good on the rep on the retail pair. I mean. So, the laces are fine. Mine are a little dirty. Nothing wrong with the laces. Um, overall, not bad. Not bad. I feel like the camera angles for this was terrible. I do apologize. 
let's get some just side by side shots right here. So retail obviously on your right, replica on the left. So from this angle, this looks perfectly fine. No real flaws that are noticeable. The patent leather cut seems seems to be on point with me. I don't think I might be a tad higher, but this is just half a size up. I don't really know, just a little bit higher if anything. But it doesn't really look bad at all. Just look at the back. So yeah, not bad. As you can see, they've aged. But overall, not a bad comparison. Not a bad replica at all. And uh, not too many flaws, which is good, especially on feet. On feet, half of the flaws, damn near, if not all of the flaws I need, on feet would not even be recognizable. From a distance, this is a perfect, uh, damn near perfect replica. It, lo it looks pretty good, I will say, if you go back, like, you know, there's not much you can say, so. Pretty good, pretty good rep.